What's happening? It's KMAC. Today I'm going to show you how to keep your Terraform code dry by using Terragrunt Run All in N0. Okay, here we are in our Git repo. In this case, we have a Terragrunt non production folder. We're going to deploy some resources into US West 2, and we have a QA and a staging environment. We're going to run Terragrunt Run All using N0 to deploy both QA and staging at the same time and manage those dependencies. So here we are in the N0 dashboard. We're going to go into our Terragrunt non-production project and we're going to create a new environment. There are two ways to deploy a new environment in N0. The first is by using a predefined template but in this case we're going to do a one-off or ad hoc environment from a VCS integration. Here we're going to be using Terragrunt and because we're going to execute run all commands on multiple modules expand the drop down button and click this checkbox. We're going to connect to our GitHub, our repository, find the branch that we're targeting and the path to the folder where those files are stored. Variables in N of zero are inherited hierarchically. So for example, our vault token is inherited from the organization level and our VPC ID is inherited from the project level. As an admin, I'm able to change and view these values, but a developer without those same permissions is unable to change values or see sensitive values. Depending on how your organization wants to manage your infrastructure resources, we can select our specific N0 features. For example, to enable a GitOps workflow, we're going to select redeploy in every push to the Git branch and run Terraform plan on pull requests targeting this branch. I want to have an approval process, so I'm not going to approve the plan automatically. And I also want to enable drift detection, so I'm going to write a cron expression to detect infrastructure drift. Hit done, and we're deploying and launching our new environment. Here we can see and inspect our deployment logs. Now we wanted to implement an approval process, so this Terraform plan is waiting for approval. As an admin, I'm able to approve this, but a common use case might be that David the developer can deploy and approve in non-production, but not in production. Let's go ahead and approve and finish this deployment. Our apply is now running, and here we can see the outputs. We've created a new QA front end and a new staging front end, and that's how you use Terragrunt run all through N0.